So I'm talking to Scott Barker, who's the coach of the New South Wales Under-21 team away currently at the National Championships in Brisbane. Scott, you're three wins from three games, which you must be very pleased about. Um, what's your overall view on things as they stand? Yeah, we're very pleased with uh, to be 3 and out at the first rest day is a, is a good result. Certain part of the, the three days uh, has had its own challenges in, in different areas. Uh, we've, we have identified a few structure, structural issues, uh, but having the video analysis and the, and the team meetings to, to address those areas to improve moving forward has been very pleasing. Mm -hmm. What sort of things are you most pleased about? Yeah, the, the level of commitment from the athlete, um, the, the players across the board are all playing for each other. Whilst we haven't been uh, completely happy with, with the structural play and the outcomes, the effort and the execution um, is there. So, yeah, looking to, to continue that. And if we can get the structural play right and get players in the right area, I can see a lot more improvement. Mm. And so we've got another you know, week and a half left of these championships. Uh, are there specific things you really want to work on? Yeah, it's, it's a very tactical battle at certain stages here too. You've got um, quality coaches from other states. So uh, whilst it might work for one team, the same, the same structure, the same uh, positional play may not work the next day. So it's, it's very, very challenging. And it's up to, us, up to us as coaches and the coaching staff to, to come up with the right game plans to benefit the natural team we're playing. Uh, for example, we've got Tasmania up tomorrow. Uh, there's a certain, certain way we'd like to play and that would be a completely different structure to a game like a Queensland. Are there particular things you do as a coach to prepare the team? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as touched on previously, the video analysis is a massive component to, to our, our uh, outcomes. There's a lot of, lot of homework goes on through the, not just myself, but the whole coaching staff, and a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, meetings and also defensive striker meetings. Uh, so there's a lot of, a lot of behind-the-scenes work goes on, uh, but for the outcomes, that's what's required. required. And I know a lot of work's gone into these two weeks. Can you just touch on some of the preparations leading into this tournament? Yep, uh, pretty much we had a squad of 35 uh, got together probably around late January, early February. Uh, we were able to, to reduce the numbers to a squad of 18, which we have here now. Yeah, pretty much started training around six weeks ago. Uh, it's been, been challenging lead up to the, the 21s. Uh, we had a lot of injury concerns, which have uh, turned into a lot of injury management now. And, Full credit to our support staff to, to get all the guys here fit and healthy whilst uh, we do have management. Um, yeah, they are at their full, full, full ability and, and full fitness, which is, which is pleasing. Great. And Scott, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe in terms of your background and um, your ambitions in coaching? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was a Bankstown junior. Uh, fortunate enough to go through most, most underage uh, state hockey uh, all the way up to AHL, which is pleasing. Uh, on the coaching side of it, around oh, so about five years ago, I started coaching banks down first grade and, and slowly progressed there. I was fortunate four years ago to be given the opportunity as assistant coach in the New South Wales 21s in Perth. And the development and the experience I received from, from that, the assistant coach role to where I'm at now, it has been invaluable. It's, it's a pleasing effort. Great stuff, Scott. Well, it's a, congratulations on a good start to the tournament and all the very best for uh, as you lead into the business end. Yep, thank you very much.